My brother used to regale our people's children with the most fantastic stories. Twin kestrels who shared one heart and led a flock of birds against an unstoppable storm. A dragon born into the palm of a maiden's hand, but one day grew so large that it devoured the entire world. He spun tales about the Elixni, too. Weavers who transformed into wolves. Dancers who became devils. You're baiting me. It won't work. I've seen what your influence does. Mizrax thinks he can make peace with the last city. His daughter tells stories like your Aldrin. And the world is better for them. Aren't you tired, Aramis? I am. Now you're wasting my time. All people like you and I have is time. I spend mine thinking about everything I've lost. And what I'd give to get it back. You wonder the same. Do not presume to know my mind. You named your house Salvation, like something straight out of Aldrin stories. Ido's stories. <sighs> we both want the best for the future. But we've pretended to be people we're not for so long that we've forgotten what else we are. Not just a queen. Not just a Kel. A sister. A mother. Aramis? Are you there? <laughs>